Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, James Plays Final Fantasy. Um, last time we were able to beat up a shitty guy named Goldar who had, I believe, the Fire Crystal. Um, and he was a douchebag, mostly. Um, and before we were able to kill him completely, he broke the Fire Crystal and was like, ha ha ha. Uh, you can't do anything, because I broke the fire crystal. What's good? Um, and we got the uh, key to our boat chain, which was good times. So now we can fly around. So I have an airship. Um, so we're looking currently, and I don't know how I was supposed to know this, but I guess just do exploration and trial and error. Oh, they fight things in the air. Um, we're looking for a town called Duster. Oh, again with the stoning enemies, really? This is like their favorite pastime. I don't know what's up with this game and enemies that can turn you to stone. It's weird. Um, let's see, do I have any... Probably don't have any gnomish bread. Spent so much time making fun of gnomish bread and then we actually need it. Uh, what I should have done before I started the stream was actually, or the video was actually look up where Duster is. Um, but unfortunately, for that to be helpful, I would have to know where I am, and I do not. But I'm, I'm reassured by the walkthrough that it should be reasonably easy to get to. Um, ah, this, I think this is it. So we'll go ahead and land in the water because we can't land on ground for some reason. Oh shit, nope, stop. Down. Oh my god. This thing is so touchy. Okay. And then disembark. And then I believe this is Duster. No, back at a mirror. Just went in a big circle. Well, this is helpful because it'll let me see uh, where Duster is. So if you would pardon me for a second, I will be back. Okay. So I think I have about the right idea of where it is. Uh, according to the map that I just checked on, it's about in the center of the world. Um, so I was actually on the right track, just... Uh, I wish they had zoomed the perspective out for this a little bit. So it should be in a little tiny island. It's like... Here! Here we go. Perfect. Alright. Hello, Duster. Awesome. Oh, we were here already. I feel like we were here already. Maybe not, though. South of here, its entrance is protected by a window closing. Anything. So that is obviously a clue. Um, let's let's see what you got. Equipment wise, guy best, Vard best, Vard best. What the fuck am I saying? I could get a couple of... I could get feathered hats for everyone. But it would only make sense to give them to the mages. Moon bracers... would also be better. I have, like, incredible deja vu. I feel like I've done this already. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I just came here and looked at them. I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do that. This will this will be good for them though, because they don't seem to get much in the way of uh, defense increase, um, and they will be killed all the time, ideally. Um, and then let's see, what they have weapons wise. Diamond bell. Oh, and a bunch of harps. Gotcha. Okay. So, primarily focused on 
cards of Geomancers. That makes sense. song was uh, very nice. Oh no, everyone. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you. Let's see. Let's see if we got any. Oh, we got anyone from Taka. Ah, uh, gee. Uh, th uh. uh. <laughs> okay, some uh, some useful little back info. All right. That sounds pretty awesome. I wouldn't mind having one myself. Oh, yes. So those two guys sing songs about summons, I'm guessing. <laughs> and you sing a song about the Kokobo theme. Okay. What do we got in here? No uh, bar in this game. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So next stop after Duster is going to be the giant castle town, um, and it, it looks like we'll automatically trigger a cutscene for it. Um, so I guess their solution for uh, telling you where to go next is just, meh, fly around until you find something. Which, you know, is not, not the greatest thing I've ever heard of, but whatever. Ah, here we are. Shit. We're going down. <laughs> that was a seemingly unnecessary cutscene, but I guess it was probably the replacement for the sprite like sinking into the or falling to the ground. What happened? Obviously, says Ingus. Another airship down. I think this is the most airships I've ever seen destroyed in a Final Fantasy game. <laughs> it carries the scent of... Oh my goodness gracious. We crash landed like directly in the middle of the battlefield. Well, before we check that out, uh, let's save the game, just to be safe. Cool. I, I don't know. Guys, yeah, you're obviously asking the hard-hitting questions, and I appreciate that, but I just don't have an answer for you. Oh. What are the consequences? Well, okay. I guess I'm leaving.
Uh, well, it definitely looks like there's a lot of towns around here, so I guess I should just go ahead and visit all the towns. Northwestern Serenia. Okay. Great Library of Serenia. Oh, but it's closed now. Well, there's a magic shop hiding back here, but it's closed. The Great Avian Lord. Bahamut defeating Leviathan? Maybe? Inn is open, though. That's nice. Uh, but we don't need to visit an inn precisely at this moment. Every book ever written. Wow. That's an impressive claim. Why is the library closed, though? Is it because a bunch of your soldiers are standing facing each other in the castle? Because that, that would be my guess. That's what I think is going on. It doesn't look like there's a sneaky way to get in, either. That's a bummer. Okay, well, there's that. Southwest Seronia. We've got water out of nowhere. Oh wow. That's that seems a little unnecessary, to be sure. Gilgameth. Oh, sweet. Pirate weapon shop. Love it. Where is it? I want to buy weapons from it. Oh, this is just the fountain. Bringing people back to life fountain. Or possibly uh, curing status ailments fountain. <sighs> A well clad boy around the age of 10. I have it. But I'm going to go ahead and make a guess right now. He's the king's son. He's the prince, and something mysterious is going on with his father, so he's decided to run away. That is my Final Fantasy prediction. Um, I also am guessing that there's something to do with these frogs in the waterways. This seems like a... Because uh, I, I, bet, I bet you... No, oh, oops. I bet you there's a sewer system or something that I have to use to get into the castle. Oh, that's just the same area. I'm not 100% convinced by this water, though. It seems like a, they could have just put that in the world map spread, but whatevs. Hey, person. Oh. Uh, oh. That's all you have to do? I, I am impressed, actually. And he just stores your items for you, but... Oh, 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 oh. what's this? A secret, not-so-secret room? Hello! Oh... That's disappointing. Maybe just all guess, guess, ga, gashol greens. Gash, gash, gashol? That's a bummer. I thought it was gonna be like cool equipment or something. Gil, I would have accepted Gil. But apparently not. Oh well. Okay, well, that seems to be all for this town. 
um, without, oh, no, I guess there's more up here. Hello? <laughs> really? How much, like, the prince did he look? Like, enough to be the prince? Are that mo mohawk triplets going to stop him? Uh, well, okay. What? That... That is most assuredly not what your sprite <laughs> looked like before. Uh, that's, that's a little bit ridiculous. Um, and gold knights were people we encountered in Goldar's area, if I remember correctly, so... Not too worried about them. Oh, yeah. Cast spells, though. <laughs> Not very effective for them. That's nice. That's what you mean. Nice. Well done, Dark Knight. Hey, Prince. Alice. The rightful heir to the throne of Sur Suramina. Dang. That's rough. Okay. Yay, guest, guest character. We haven't had one of those guys in a second. Also, I totally called it, by the way, guys. I totally called it. Uh oh. So we're gonna have to sneak in? Is that what you're saying? Maybe through the sewer system here? Is that what you're saying, Prince? That sounds like what you're saying. I should go find that weapon shop, though, first. For sure. No, I have no... Uh, he, he was. He was definitely that person. Definitely 100%. Okay, so that was fun. Uh, we got another guest character. I want to check out the other four districts really quick um, just to see if I can find that uh, weapon shop. Because that will certainly be helpful. Um, and then I think I'm going to stop the episode there. Or maybe not. We'll see. Dragon Spire. Oh, is it Kane's Lance? Oh. It's an optional dungeon with Kane's Lance. Um, pretty much for the rest of the game series, uh, Kane's Lance is going to be a, a recurring um, weapon. Um, that is a top tier weapon. Usually the, oops, usually the strongest uh, weapon for the spear-wielding units. <sighs> no kidding. Oh, that's generally useful information to know. I, I did not know that at all. I wonder if bows are extra effective against flying enemies, too. Okay, so there's just the tower there. Let's see what else. Removal. I wonder how difficult the monsters are, though. He was indeed, and if you were paying attention, you would see that he's falling here. But what? Oh. Okay. Well, that's cool. I can just grab a cocoa bow if I need one. A back attack. What? What kind of crap is this? Good thing I got that armor from my mages, though. Uh, 
switch rows. I hate that I have to do each of these individually. That's kind of annoying. Um, I was playing a little bit of the, uh, uh, the uh, DS port of Final Fantasy IV, um, and one of the things I was noticing uh, that makes the game uh, organized a lot better is they have a front row and a back row. Um, and then uh, switching from the front row and the back row uh, moves, swaps all of the characters in place. Um, so if you come across a situation where you get a back attack, uh, it bumps everyone in the back and into the front and vice versa. Uh, saves a little bit of time. That's nice. We probably won't be playing through that one. Um, I would much rather do the uh, PSP slash PC uh, port, just because I, I really don't... Oh, I knew that. I went there. Um, I don't really care for the 3D graphics. I mean, they... I don't know. Oh, I've talked to somebody who said the exact same thing. They just don't look as good, I guess? Um, I'm not even talking about, like, realistic good. Like, in this game, in this one, they make a pretty good um, use of uh, the art style that they're going for um, and making good use of the uh, sprite graphics, but it, it still would have looked better as, a, as an enhanced pixel port, I think, personally. So that's probably what we'll be playing through for that one. Um, I'm not really... Right, right, right. Um, I'm not really interested in uh, playing through the, the years after, um, but but I might end up doing that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see on that one. Ooh, wind spears. I'll take two, please. That's cool. Woo! That's pretty cool. I hope none of the enemies I encounter are absorbing or strong against wind damage. Probably won't be the case, though. Uh, okay. Uh, interesting little bit of background knowledge. Yes. And that's that. And then the king went crazy. Um, this will mark our first uh, appearance of Gilgameth. Or Gilgamesh, uh, depending on who the translator is, which is exciting. Gilgamesh will be a uh, recurring uh, boss character um, in the in in a lot of the series, not in all of them. Um, sometimes he's an optional boss and or summon. Uh, other times he's actually a plot uh, point, but he is a recurring. Uh, character. Usually um, he's a character who's in search of the ultimate sword Excalibur. Um, sometimes he has a dummy of that sword, which is called the Excalibur, which I think is clever. Um, so that's exciting. Exciting to see Gilgamesh for the first time. Hey look, I got the prince with me. Drag. Oh, he's got a boomerang. That's kind of cool. Uh, this seems fishy. Okay, let's go, Alice. Al Alice. Uh, Alice. Oh, well, that's nice. If not suspicious. Uh, well, not anymore, now that you woke me up. Well, that's probably not it. Uh, he's probably under the spell of an evil wizard. That's much more likely. BTW, he's probably going to try to kill us. Yup. 
Why are you just standing there? Oh, wow. Oh, shit. Oh, what? What? Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Alright, fine. Cool. Um... That was rather sudden, but we'll roll with it. Uh, I guess I should probably check poison. That's always a fun go to. You can jump. Kinda surprised I haven't gotten protect or, like some of those spells. No poison. Okay. Soul Eater. Still does a pretty dang reasonable amount of damage. Watch, it's gonna be Absorbs Wind. Guarantee it. Oh, he's weak against wind. Well, that's just darn perfect for me. Oh, ouch. That was a strong punch. I'm actually kind of really surprised. Um, okay. Let's see. It seems like overkill. Um, oh, you have an air sp a wind spell. How cool is that? Okay. Um, and you can use Blazaga. Perfect. Oh. Ouch. How is it that he does... <laughs> that was sexy. Uh, how is it that he does more damage to my Dragoon than he does to the Magic Casters? That's odd. I mean, they are in the back row, but they still have less defense. Okay. We're just going to keep on doing this. Uh, you're definitely going to do that this time. Um, and you should probably just keep jumping. kind of don't understand how turn order works in this game. That was ridiculously simple. Which makes me suspicious, but okay. Nice. 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 Uh oh, nothing for Ark then. Poor guy. Jeez. This is kind of intense. It seems completely unrelated to the rest of the story, but cool. Ah, how touching. That was so quick. I was introduced to that character and it was resolved so quickly. Like, kind of unnecessarily quick, but I mean, there really wasn't much to the story. That... Well, that was pretty surprising, I'll be honest. But I mean, cool. I, I fought a boss, it wasn't too bad. Didn't even have to grind or heal or anything. Probably helps that I had, you know, the wind spears, but... Okay, we'll do. That was neat. The Temple of Time. That sounds like a place to go. Beneath the sea, under the waves that morn, is a temple summoned by God's scorn. Says the sword. Okay, uh, good to know. Secret passage to the treasure room on the first floor of this town. That's also good to know. Okay. Is it here? I just need to get better at hiding your secret treasure rooms. Medusa arrow. Rusty nail. 
Ice Rod. Dragon Hammer. Main Gosh. Tome of Fire. Scholar Hat. Another Scholar Set? Golem Staff. Tome of Ice. Boomerang. Selene Bow. Tome of Light. Anybody actually use any of this stuff? I mean, you could probably use the main gauche, but why would you? Um, Golem Staff. Oh, Ice Rod. Cast Blizzara, that's nifty. Uh, you probably can't use any of this stuff. Cool. Um, oh, Rusty Mail? No. This game has a weird, uh, habit of giving me useless items. I don't really know what that's about, but it kind of freaks me out. But it also just, like, straight up confuses me, so... I'm not sure that I appreciate it. Viking Mail, though, that's probably good. Dragon Helm. Viking Helm. Rusty Mail. Earthen Bell. Gaia Vest. Well, I mean, at least you can probably use the Dragon Helm, right? Cool. That's that's gonna do good for your defense. Fact. It's so weird. And you probably can't. Well, cool. Awesome. Treasures acquired. Okay. Exciting times. Well, that was, uh... That was quickly chewed up and spit out plot. Um... I'm gonna go to the city with the library in it, is my guess, is where I'm supposed to be going next. Um, and we'll go ahead and cut the episode here, and then next time we can uh, check out the library and some of the districts to see uh, what exactly they have in them. Uh, so we'll see you around next time when that is the thing that we do. Thanks for joining me.